Okay, we just saw the range of motion test for this while we were doing the corticobrachialis. In order to treat, I prefer to treat the short head of the bicep because the short head of the bicep connects to the coracoid process of the scapula. When it shortens and tightens, it restricts the range of motion of the levator and often causes dysfunction in the upper cervical joints. So a good treatment for all of that is going to be the bicep. Its, rain, its pain pattern can be a little here in the antecubital space, a little bit in the front of the shoulder, something up here on top of the inferior angle, excuse me, the uh, angle of the neck. But the biggest thing I look for is the range of motion restriction and is there a problem with cervical rotation. Coming across the fibers, I can do a pincer palpation or more likely I prefer a flat palpation. And generally the trigger points are located in the lower portion of the arm. So it doesn't take a whole lot in order to get that treated. And then hopefully we'll get some sort of range of motion change. We'd already done the coracobrachialis. Let's see what happens. And we're all the way across the body.